invite your friends, invite your other parents to come on so that we can learn. And I want us to really participate. All right, so I won't be talking to myself or talking all by myself um, today, but we'll um, make sure that we participate. Money management tips. Now we, we are ready to go into money management tips. All right, when you're gonna be talking to me. Now, it's important when you have your list of expenses and you have that income that you budget, you write down exactly what you're gonna be spending on before you start spending. So don't start budgeting and writing down things when you realize that the money is finishing. You'll have to budget at the start. And in budgeting, you're able to save more because you must put aside 10% for savings. And you will list all your expenses, but make sure that you um, prioritize. But list all of them. And based on how the um, dollar is spread, you'll be able to make adjustments as you go along all right but you must budget no matter how small it is all right i'm just checking how is the volume do i um my are you hearing me loud enough yes perfect Good. mr smith yes. Lovely enough. all right so that's the, the, the first thing but we're looking at um some persons who might not have a job you might have reduced hours what do you do with the little money that you have? Well, you know, you're first grateful for still working, that you have that job, you have reduced hours, not that you have lost the job. But what we need to do when we have all these loans, we have credit facilities and so on, don't run away from paying your, your uh, commitment or reporting to the institution. So when you report to the institution, you're able to speak to someone speak to one of the financial advisors loan advisors and they have a facility to consolidate your loans consolidate your your um, outstanding debts and allow you to get another payment method in fact, I was encouraging a lot of persons to go into their different financial institutions because what was happening, they were given moratorium. Most of last year, most companies, most um, mortgage, mortgage companies and some of the loan companies were given moratorium, but many didn't know about it because they stayed away, right? And just by discussing and confronting and uh, um, turning up for your response to your responding to your responsibilities, then there is the answer. Now reduce credit card debt by reducing impulses, purchases. If the budget is tight, you have to be um, careful of impulsive shopping, right? Christmas coming, the curtains don't have to be changed, just wash them, right? Organize for more, where, where you still have your job, nothing, uh, no hours have been cut decide to make to do some more savings as you budget make sure you put some more into savings it is the savings of the past years that have helped so many persons during last year and this year most persons savings have been depleted right now right but it's important to put aside so if you are earning put aside more you don't know what can happen in the future Money management tips. Let's look now at some practical things that we can do at home. All right. In terms of the utilities, the light, water, these things are what? Fixed costs. It will come, it will fluctuate in terms of usage, how much you use. You know, you will um, have a fluctuating bill there, but they will be coming every single month right is there anyone who um doesn't get a bill from jps or 
NWC, Mr. Lignel, fixed cost. I, I'm, I'm going to suggest that we have a conservation monitor or monitress, whoever it is, in the house that will turn off the lights and uh, ensure that um, there is conservation in the house. In my house, Abigail will um, help switch off the lights and check that um, when someone comes out of a room, the lights are, are turned off. So um, you can save some money there. What about unplugging what's not being used, right? You are in, you're, you're, you're listen, listening to the radio, uh, watching TV, you leave that room, you're outside and the TV is still going. You have to be, watching for those things. So ask one of the little ones to help you or just be aware and switch those lights off, plug out those devices, plug out those items. Anybody, is there anyone on here who is vigilant at that right now? Anybody here that's got that covered? Nobody? Well, yes, for me, good evening. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, Marie here. Um, yes. I think I can do more, actually. Yes. So I love your tip in nominating a monitor um, yes. just to help with turning those, turning the lights off, maybe the radio or whatever else when it's not right. being used. So I'm going to adopt that immediately. Yes, right, right, I guess. And um, they are very um, enthusiastic about it. And uh, some might ask for, com for some compensation, but the compensation is dollars saved and that they can get some maybe monies in their piggy bank. That's, that's the compensation. Allow them to save as well. So you turn off the fan, open the windows where you can open the windows. Well, now at night, you, might have, you have to close the windows, right? But in the daytime, you can't have the fan running. Our children are just so hot. They are hot right through and the fan has to be blazing. I have to, I have to be showing them, no, turn, open this window and you'll be fine. Or sit out on the veranda. Um, but you know, for online school, give them the fun. You want them to be comfortable, right? But just be aware. Now we question: How often do during the week do you use the washing machine? Are you washing every day? Special piece of clothes that has to have one wash, another wash. The next day you wash another, another day, and five days for the week, in, and then Saturday six you are washing. Be careful of that. Just plan it more and remember about the ironing. That takes up a lot of um, current. So you need to iron one time for the week. I heard someone say, well, with the social, the, the physical distancing, um, it helps because nobody sees their crush clothes. Right? So, you know, you are away from me, you can't see my crush. So I won't need to uh, be ironing. But, um, that's one person but once per week try and plan the ironing put all the things together that you need to iron right and oh mrs davis you can um check the chat in case someone has a um point that to, to make there definitely i am i am yes, doing yes, this. Yes. <laughs> right so think of, of that what about the water now check all right when Later tonight, just check all the taps in the house. Well, you can maybe go outside and check the outside ones. Is there a little trickle, a little drip, slight drip, 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 drip? That is even too fast, but even a, a, a slower drip for days on end will allow you to be paying so much um, water bill that will take money out of your pocket. So let's check for leakages, check for wastage, right? Some of it you can't hear because the water is just running down along the bath side or, or something on some a soft area. So therefore we need to make sure that we check to um, close those leaked areas. And the underground as well, outside, see if your one patch of your lawn is greener than the rest. Yes, that suggests some leak right there. So you might be losing money just from this and you can save quite a bit if you check it out. And of course, if you are going to be getting a loan or you have um, 
some bills that you can that you are taking out new ones then may it's put it nearer to the payday or the time when you do get paid or you get it some monies in so that you don't have some late fees coming in when i say you suffer from charges and late fees because you don't have the money at the time money is coming in but it don't reach it right next what about the food bill? This is where a lot of you are going to help me now. Where do you shop? How do you stretch the dollars? Shop at the market for fruits and vegetables. Some persons don't know where the market is. But get up early and buy the fresh fruits and vegetables. And that's the only place you can get what you call brata. Jaylan, have you ever heard the term brata? Brata. Yes. No. Okay. So when you go to the, the the market and you buy like a dozen orange, and you uh, you can say, "Can I get a brata? It's an extra one, right? When you interact with the vendors, you know you have a relationship there. In the supermarkets, yeah, it's exactly what is there. You pick up and pay for transaction, right? So, um. For freshness and for price, shop at the market for fruits and vegetables. Take advantage of special discount days at supermarkets. Come on, let's hear it. What do we have at um, at Hilo? What is the special discount days? What are the special discount days at Hilo? Anyone? So you're not benefiting from any discounts? All right, Rachel and Rachel and uh, yes, they have the um. Well, we're not senior citizens, but we have the um, the what you call it again, the government workers discount on Sundays. I think it's between on Friday and Monday. Oh, on the weekends. Well, not not, not at Hilo, that's actually at Mega Mart, actually. Okay, okay, at Mega Mart. All right, so. At Mega Mart note that so if you work with the ministry with the government then uh, you get your discount and is it 10 percent discount i think it's between 10 and 15 percent i think wow i mean a 10 percent discount or 50 is, is that it's a good little savings all right you have that discount i think hilo has a farmer's market discount on a Thursday, so when you buy the fruits and vegetables, anything from off the shelf, the, the ground provision um, area, there is a 10% discount. What about um, Progressive? Because we have to share this information. What about Progressive? A lot of persons love to shop at Progressive, and then it's the same as Shoppers Fair. Um, so you have at, um, Fairview, and you also have Westgate. Well, I know comparing the prices, I know that Westgate, um, the, 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 the food costs less there, right? When you buy there, the bill is, is a little less than the um, bigger outlet. Anybody has proven that? Has anyone proven that? No, you just go and buy your things. I want to come shopping with you. When you're going shopping, I'll come in shopping with you. You just go and buy. Where do you shop for deals? All right, maybe it's the wholesale. Anyone who buys at the wholesale, yes, you're getting some deals, but anyone here want to share where where, where they shop so that we can um, cash in on some of your, your the deals, bargains? I was gonna say the progressive, they have um, like the, the PG items, so the wrapped waters and the other wrapped items that has PG, which is progressive grocers, those are heavily discounted. All right, so you step in and to the right of that is um, at Fairview, to the right of the um, supermarket, you'll see a lot of water there. It's maybe half, half the price of the regular um, case. Um, they were promoting that last year. I'm not sure if it's still the same price, but look out for those items. And you will know that any of the branded items for the supermarket, that is normally at a cheaper one, right? 
so you'll save on that. So you go to Hilo and you have the Hilo wrapped uh, coconut oil or so on, it, it costs less. All right, buy wholesale. So I'm not sure. For me, I, I, I have not selected a wholesale that I go to. I just choose between the supermarkets and maybe the discount days. It, is there anyone on here that, um, you know, wholesale is your thing? Tell me about that. The wholesale, the wholesale is your thing. Where's your wholesale? Hi, so it's me again, Marie. Yes, um, yes. I don't really shop at wholesale, but I had an experience where um, our church wanted to purchase some items in bulk um, just to help out with those persons who were, you know, feeling the pinch more than anybody else. And I was blown away. So we bought half of that, I think it's 20 gallon of oil, half bag of rice, which I think is um, maybe about 50 or 25 pounds, the same for cornmeal and flour. And that bill was $14,000. And when oh. I say half bag, you know, those big crocus bag? Yes. Half of that. So cornmeal, rice, flour, sugar, and that half mm -hmm. jug of that big oil. And that tally, $13,000. So I was where, quite surprised. Where is that whole so thing? So I bought that at Linz Plus. That is in Anchovy. Oh. But it's similar to like um, horses like downtown, maybe Dongzing and some others. Right. Yeah. Right. But the oh. truth is you have to pay attention to, to cleansiness. And that's why most persons Don't may shy right. away. I chose there because I had access to their premises in terms of, I, I know that it, you know they have certain level yeah, of yeah. sanitation there, but yeah. it was quite an eye opener. Okay. So if you, yeah, so we can bear that one in mind. And there's some in, in the market, but I know if I buy in bulk, I mean, I, in terms of, um, access to parking and so on i'm not i i have not um gone to to, to shop there and some of the wholesale all right buying groups what i what i what i mean about buying in groups all right so say you find that love the wholesale and you want to buy a, a case of a bag of rice and so on your bag of cornmeal you might want to buy it in a group of, of like four of you come together and and purchase that and you split split the bill, split the um the amount as well. Um, if you were buying like a case of 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 um say grace chunky mackerel or or say corned beef, that can be like twelve thousand dollars, though it is it is um working out better than buying it single. But can you find twelve thousand dollars one time? So you could join with someone. And just split that bill. All right. So you find a friend and you say, All right, so let's go and buy some cases of stuff and agree on what you'll buy, and, and it will work out better for you. Now, you must communicate this new food, whatever um, discount you're going to seek out, and how you're going to buy in bulk, and when you actually get the plan together communicate the new food budget to the children or i should say yes to the household right but you lay out the limit so here we go we buy the snacks and we buy juices in abundance and snacks they'll just look in the cupboard and say yes it's christmas time we can just go all out charge on the food on the snacks three drinks and when they normally have just one let's just raise the snacks have you ever had a had a, had your cupboard bombarded? Yes, I know Miss Salesman, Miss Miss Mr. Salesman, we are there. Yes, Richelon has stormed the cupboard, right? Jailan, when you storm the cupboard, and Mrs. Davis in your Davis in your household, I'm Definitely. sure <laughs> that they storm the cupboard. You say, but I bought for three weeks. Or this is supposed to last for the month. I planned it out. I did my budget. I went to Linz. But you have to say, all right, this guy, um, it's for the month. You can only have two snacks here. Or they just let them know the limits. 
all right? Because they'll just think, think that, wow, all my dreams have come true. I, have, I can have anything I want. All right, now, in terms of the meat, is there any chef on here? How can we stir up the thing better and stretch the, the, stretch the dollar? Nice up the pot, right? So we say now, if we normally have a whole chicken for, for, for Sunday dinner, you're going to be doing, oh, curry chicken. You can do half. Add potatoes to it so that the other half can serve for the following week, right? Don't cry if you don't have salt fish for your ackee. Go straight with the ackee. Are you sausage? Use something else. Just be creative, right? Any chef on here? Or all the lots of many chef. There are many chefs on here. There are um, all the moms are here, right? All the moms here and some dads. Yes, you're chef in your own right. Stretching the tuna. Yes, man. You add some corn in the tuna. Tastes good. Stretching um, others by adding carrots. So, for example, if you have the chunky mackerel, instead of having cutting two tins because persons want two pieces and all of that, just do one tin. Add some carrots to it. Right, Mr. Black? Right, Mrs. Clark? Mm -hmm. Add some carrots. Mr. Black is not quite the chef. So, what about recreation or exercise, yeah? Now, you have gym subscription that you always maintain, but guess what? The budget is shrinking. Or maybe of the two parents, one not working. Do you still continue to pay your gym subscription? Or you get up early and run? Or just walk briskly in the community? I find that so many of us, we can't find, well, we lay in the bed and we want to go and exercise. Oh, yes, if you have a gym subscription, you try not to, you say you don't want to waste the money, you get up and go. But just get up and walk freely in the morning air in the community for half an hour. Find a, a hilly area, walk up and down and get your exercise. Let me see the hands of, let me hear all the persons who get up in the morning and exercise. Where are you? I do. Yeah. Here, here. From, from from blood. <laughs> yes, man. And it it does. It, it, does for us. <laughs> it gives you so much energy for the day, right? So it's a, and when you the birds are up, the it's just a beautiful morning when you get out there. So just keep doing it. But what I find from last year that I'm walking is the same people I'm meeting in the morning. Same people. I don't see any new person i don't see a lot of persons passing just the same persons who have the um stamina then or the determination to to um accomplish an exercise um routine car wash do you spend the money at car wash as often as you do twice a week or you at least maybe you do one time and wash it yourself for the other time it's good exercise right and what about family game sessions or sing along or so on? Have some fun together and then you can take the whole family walking out, right? Because you don't have the entertainment places open and um, you can be creative as a family. All right? Anything else you want to add to that? Karen. Well, as it as it relates yes. to the car wash and the wash yes. it yourself, whereas I really don't wash it myself, but because I know work from home, there's really no need to wash the car as often as before. Okay. And so that right. has cut down some of the car wash expenses. So you save some money there. Yes, definitely. All right, good. The men on here, Mr. Black, are you your own barber? I'm not my own hairdresser. The one little time I get somebody to do something for me. <laughs> oh, but many persons have taken on their own, um, doing their own hair and uh, the men cutting their own hair, right? Also, do you get a helper in, uh, continue with the helper coming in who 
you know, is out there and might not be um, just, you know, might be taking the public transport and and might get the COVID or, or have the virus and, you know, in terms of the risk of in and out, you know. Um, or do you divide up the duties with the family? And and somebody takes the ironing, someone takes the washing, the 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 sweeping or whatever you do in the house. So think about it. However, my view on this, I, I wouldn't totally get rid of the, the helper, the household help, because you know that's cutting one family's income. So I would get them in to do even for two days or a day, right? But it's in terms of the frequency of in and out from the house, you could think about that in terms of a precaution for COVID. Um, purchase durable furniture that so they can last. Um, this point here, boy, I I I I wasn't so confident writing this down because many of the furniture now doesn't last long, right? But in any case, we must show the children how to take care of them. How can they preserve? what you have so that you don't have to be going to courts and going to sing or wherever you go to buy furniture, right? It's not a um, one year thing that every Christmas you go and pick out a new couch or a new um, table or so because they have um, destroyed the item, the household item, right? So you communicate with them and let them know that this thing has to last. Now, I have to mention this nurse. Um, so, Jodine Gale, nature's patient, no, nurture's patient as her crops blossom in therapeutic success. That's March 2021. How many of you have planted something? I did a pumpkin. Yes. Um, what else I planted? Well, I planted pumpkin. Anybody planted something? Because this is one way you can save money. Plant some carrot, plant some sweet peppers, plant um, some of the uh, vegetables that you eat. Anybody? Bananas. Yes. Bananas. Yes. Bananas. Yes. Great, I'm great. trying my hand back lettuce. Yeah. Oh, you, you got through with the lettuce? They, they came up okay? They weren't? Not yet. I'm just starting. Okay, okay, good. And Palalu too, guys. Um, there is another, well, I saw someone who, well, doesn't have this backyard space. This um, person has some space, but most of us don't have the backyard space. We don't have this the, the space at the side either. But you can use pots, you can use tires, um, old tires, fill them with the dirt and um, pots and, and you can plant in them. So you don't have to have the big backyard, all right? And everything can be lettuce and pop chow and all of those things can be planted in it. So don't say, all right, this is not for me because I don't have land space, all right? So we can save money by planting something. No. All right, so where are you? You're not in the farming thing. Um, you have lost your job. What are you going to do? Retrain in the area of your passion. And so you lost your job, but you're good at art. Paint something. Um, you, you like to make things. Make something. I've met a couple of persons who have um, they've established their baking business, their, their painting business um during this covid time is there anyone who has discovered a new skill or has done something different you want to share i purposed in my mind to learn some more about you know the the internet digital marketing and online presentations and so on because being at home, not being able to go out there to do presentation, then I had to learn about how to make presentations. And I found, I decided to store the, some of the presentation in a space on the YouTube channel 
that some purses might be unknown. And I never knew how to do that before, but I had to, what they call, pivot, right? Um, what about the strengths of the family? The family. What is your family good at? So it might not be you. You might be able to organize, but what is your son, daughter? What is, what's your sister good at? That you can create a business out of it. Maybe your sister is a good baker. What, what can you do to create a business out of that? All right, so you have a lot of stuff in your house. We maybe have a, yeah, some person's um, garbage is another person's treasure. Why not do a yard sale for um, some income? Just right at the gate, you know, and you can post it somewhere and some pers persons can come at different times to um buy from you but a yard sale idea yes you can start looking at items that you can sell all right for those involved in community you know you can maybe do it as a community um all right so um this now all about you you have ways to save monies but what if it's a major tragedy? What if your family is affected by death? You are the breadwinner and you have lost your life. What would happen to your children? This is where now I tell you a little bit about what I do in terms of providing financial solutions and benefits in the event of major disaster in case life gets so sad oh so sad well we know that we have some life events like old age we know we have um that coming up parents but what if there is sickness right that's what the s represents what do you think the a represents what do you think the a represents so there is, could be, there's old age, there's sickness, there could be, what is A? Accident. <laughs> yes, accident. All right, what about D? Death. Death. In the midst of all this strain, in the midst of all this um, shrinking cash, shrinking budget, sickness and death is still happening. So you have to be prepared. As a financial advisor at Sajikor, I've paid out quite a few claims for critical illness. And you might ask, how oh, cancer so wicked? That no matter, see how things so hard on everybody. Why should it strike now? Mm -mm, it doesn't have a conscience. And so I am encouraging you that one, critical illness is what gets cash into your pocket in the event of a diagnosis. So have a critical care plan. What about health care? There are some parents who are not attached to a company that would provide a health card. And so your child doesn't have a health card. You might say, well, I can't afford an individual health card. But we have allowed for the schools now to be a group and so health card is quite um, affordable now for the children. So all kids, all children can get health card because you know how much cash can go from your pocket when there is sickness. The tests that have to be done, prescription, all of this. And you're not gonna, you, you won't stop on anything. Um, you try and get the, mo the money from somewhere to buy medication for your children. And so make sure you get a health card. Yeah. Also, make sure that there is life insurance because in case you're taken out of the picture, what's going to happen to the family? How will they live? How will they survive? So it's tight now. It gets worse if there should be death or sickness. All right. And with all that's happening, you still have to prepare for retirement. So you have to save, guys. The days are coming when you will have to retire and make sure you have cash for liquidity 
So in case of an emergency, you will have money. Now, um, the family is depending on you. So you really have to respond in terms of how you take, take these tips and stretch your dollar for the family. How you put in place a plan to take care of the children in case of sickness, in case of death, in case of in term, look, look at um, the future. How many years is it to your child um, taking a seat at the university? What does your child want to do? Right, they might be young now, but do you have the education plan in place? Every year, February, March, that time, just before exam at UE, you hear about the protests on campus, you hear about children being um, students being deregistered for non-payment of fees. That shouldn't continue like that. We have to be prepared um, so that we can pay for their college funds. All right. And while they are young and they grow very fast, so we have to start now. All right. So and when you are saving for their education, think about always be thinking what if i'm taking out the picture and that is why you have to buy that life insurance plan that will pay forward that education fund, which i'll explain to you um i'll explain to you when you contact me right it pays it forward so that that money will be there when the child gets to university a good man or woman leaves an inheritance to his children, right? So um, that's Proverbs 16. Yes, it's Proverbs that says that. All right, so I'm, oh, there is a registration form. I totally forgot to give you. I'm gonna send you that registration form. I want you to in, um, indicate whether you want a health card for your child or ward, niece or nephew, whoever you're taking care of um critical care coverage for your child in case your child gets sick and ends up in the hospital there is a critical illness plan that you can get from now just in case of that all right life insurance for the parents up to age 80 years old there's health insurance for small business so if you have a small business uh five persons five employees or more and then there is insurance don't let anybody tell you that you can't get a um, health card for your staff because your company is too small five employees or more you can get health card that will cut down the cost of um health here remember ask about pension plan or a personal accident plan as well Hey, do you need a loan but you wish it was interest free or had negotiable interest rate? At Elon Microfinancing Limited, we've got you covered. Get access to cash from $5,000 to $1.5 million. Change your mind? No worries. Return the full principal the next business day interest free. Borrow $20,000 to $1.5 million in cash and after three business days, return the full amount with an additional $3,000 interest or up to four days to repay $5,000. How about an extended loan for one year? Return the cash in one or two weeks and negotiate your own interest rate. Contact us today. Call us at 876-433-6471 or visit us at shop number 3 Mintoplex Plaza on 35 Church Street, Montego Bay or on Instagram or Facebook at eLoan MFLTD. We don't just grant loans, we satisfy financial appetite.